20 minutes. The World Championships in Shoe Shining 2022 starts now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you used to. <laughs> uh, I don't feel you, particularly nervous. I mean, for me, it's just really try my best to see whether uh, you know we can win something. Yeah. Of course, being in the finals is already quite an honor. So I believe that whether we win it or not, it's a bonus. Yeah. And the fact that we have trained hard, we invested a lot of money to be here. <laughs> so you know whether we win it or not, yeah. um, it's really something out of our control mm. but whatever we have done we have already done it whatever we should be doing we have already done it so you know we're quite confident yeah. of the routine Hi, uh, my name is James Ducker. I am a bespoke shoemaker and I run a, a shoemaking business called Kare Ducker here in London. We, um, we make bespoke shoes and we also run a shoemaking school. Um, so we've trained a lot of people over the years. Um, and uh, I trained at John Lobb, so uh, I'm a kind of West End shoemaker. That's my, that's my background. And with regards to with regards to the shoe making championship, how did you find the shoes this time round? Yeah, I mean, I was really impressed. Uh, obviously, some of them were more um, 
like art pieces and show showcase pieces and some of them are a bit more functional I actually favor the more functional looking yeah, shoes yeah, yeah, yeah. but so. I'm always impressed by the the craftsmanship and the creativity mm-hmm. and the execution um, obviously some of the some of the execution was exceptional mm. and some less so but I think what's nice about the competition is that people from of different levels enter and from all over the world and so it's a real broad taste of, of, of shoemaking from across the world which I really like. Hi everybody, um, welcome. Today we have with us a um, Norwegian shoe shiner that was competing in the finals of the shoe shine competition. So perhaps you could introduce yourself. A little yeah, bit. yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Christian Vincent. I'm uh, the professional shoe shiner in Norway. I run the only shoe shine shop in Norway and uh, pioneering the craft there and trying to bring it up at the, the highest level. Mm-hmm just as you've been doing yeah. and Ash in Singapore yeah. so yeah it's how, uh, uh, how's it been like in 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 Norway you know for shoe shining etc could you tell us a little bit about that people are sending their shoes yeah. uh, with mail yeah, yeah. Uh, people want to shoe shine because they see how good it can be done mm-hmm. yeah how, how, how was the event for you you know like generally meeting shoe lovers brands partners etc it's great because it's so friendly environment um, People are really genuine about their shoemaking craft. No, but I think like winning is, is you know, it's, it's, it's great because the winner will be able to, you know, kind of promote, yeah. you know, the shoe craft and things like this. Like for us, when when I won the Shoe Giant Championship, like I didn't feel like I was the king of the world. I felt like, okay, now I have an added responsibility of having to show or kind of pave the way to tell people, okay, it can actually be a, a, a career, you know. So that, for me, that was that was the most rewarding thing. I mean, yes, winning it is, is a bonus, it's great, but yeah. but but apart from that, it's like the reward you get when you, you win. Yeah, when you when you when you when you get to connect you know, shoe lovers. Yeah. Yeah, and and you, people you, who really care about shoes and you whatnot. Had cor- you had a course. Yeah. You you made a tutorial for mm. a paid paid tutorial in yeah. in Asia, right? Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did that. I mean, we, 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 we always are very happy to share with people like yeah. what, what we do and things like this. There's no secrets. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, we're all using the same things, right? Yeah, right. Like waxes, creams and yeah. stuff like that. So for me, I just felt like, okay, it's, it's, it's even a bigger responsibility now that, you know, we've gotten the win and, yeah. and you know, it's time to think about the next step. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, the win is already gone. It's, it's, it's done. It's but, right. but for us, we're thinking like, okay, what's next? How do we become better, right? What's next, man? Shoemaking. <laughs> we have uh, Norman with us. He's been a shoemaker for some time and living in Barcelona yeah. right now. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the event and uh, what you, what inspired you, what you managed to get out of this today. Well, you know, from the shoemaking competition, especially. A shoemaking competition is always uh, like see new new work, uh, new like yours. Was yeah. it great? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, it's always inspiring and, and it, probably coming to London the most exciting thing is being in London you yeah. know this thing and yeah, yeah. whatever you yeah. know it's like uh, you know but I, I I don't care about shoes too much yeah, you know yeah, I yeah. just care about making something personal special, and, special yeah. and, yeah. and and uh, trying to push the boundaries so mm-hmm. yeah that's uh, and you managed to see any shoes that was pretty impressive apart from you know, normal standard designs and like. I mean, like uh, for example, I don't know, like uh, seeing. Uh, I like uh, the idea of seeing uh, countries producing shoes and the high level, like for example, the Vietnamese and mm-hmm. uh, the high level uh, mm-hmm. of uh, product. Uh, I mean, always the bespoke. Mm-hmm. We introduce some uh, some interesting things on the bespoke with uh, like a crazy pattern making mm-hmm. and uh, um, and some crazy boots from Spain. So. Always is nice to come here and to see it. PLSB の柏です。PLSB では大阪の方で店舗でハイシャインとあとパティヌを担当でやらせてもらってます。あとはまあ阪急メンズ大阪で上田とともに一緒に磨きの方をやらせていただいております。というイベントはどう思いますか。今回のイベントを見てまあ思ったのはやっぱり靴好きな方がまあ非常に多いなと。いうところとあとはやっぱり靴を好きな方のまあリアクションあとは靴に対するまあ反応がまあそこはバンコク共通日本人と一緒でこう細かいところまで見て
あのすごいこう褒めたたえたりあとはまあ、ね、皆さん自分たちの履いてる靴を見て褒めたたえるっていうのも日本人の靴オタクと一緒なんだなと思いましたね。<笑>でも日本人も革靴を履くのはよく履くんですけど磨かない人が多いのでそれに対してやっぱりこうまあ磨いてどうなるとか長く履けるようになるとか綺麗に見せるだけではなくて実用的な使っていって革が良くなるとか履きやすくなるとかっていうのをまあやっぱり靴磨きの一環としてやっていく必要があるのでそこはねここどう考え方日本の考え方というよりはやっぱり靴磨き全体の考え方だと思いますね。Hi,、uh, today we have with us、uh, one of my very good friends. I met him the last time around when I, I came by. He's been in London learning shoemaking for a couple of years now. So perhaps you can tell us a little bit about your name.、Uh, my name is Satoshi. And how long have you been in London? About、uh, two years. About、And、two years, yeah. What's your profession? Percent,、uh, bottom maker. Ah, okay, okay. And when、oh. you first came to London, how, how, did, how was the journey? You know, learning shoemaking, etc., and things like this.、Uh, yeah, it was、uh, not easy. I mean,、uh, I didn't. Because once, when I first came here, I came here as a just visa, visa student visa. So I just learned shoemaking in Karadaka and also、uh, the guy called、uh, James、M、Amesbury. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, learned,、uh, he used to work in John Lobb. And then I was just learning. And then I could、uh, luckily got a、uh, working visa and then I came here London again. And then I went to c l e v e r l y and then I got、uh, work from c l e v e r l y So I was lucky. At that time was also because of COVID time.、Uh, maybe after two weeks later,、uh, since I came to London, it was three weeks later.、Yeah. So,、uh, COVID happened, so it was a tough time, but I, I could get a job. So, I was. I see.